As the one-year anniversary of last July's flooding approaches, Vermonters continue to recover. Governor Scott and his team are now engaging local students to help repair mobile homes. Jessica Tarr heard from those students about their hands-on learning experience. Mobile home parks across Vermont are still bouncing back from last July's devastating flooding. The state has deployed local students to help rebuild. We saw the need to help those families who not only lost everything, but weren't getting the maximum FEMA a benefit. And we were responsible for getting their homes removed from the lots. Throughout the school year, career technical education centers have been chipping away at mobile home unit repair projects. So we brought together a team from a number of different agencies to make sure no one in these parks had to worry about or pay for their home to be removed or deconstructed. CTE students helped renovate salvageable homes wherever possible, honing their skills and helping their community. This mobile home project offered a lot of skills for us to learn that'll help us with our future careers in construction. At one such mobile home, students like Ronan Kelly restored the interior and exterior, moved windows and doors around, replaced the wiring, and helped with plumbing. This has a bigger community impact than just um, <laughs> putting more people into the workforce because it's giving us something that we can actually put out into the community. An opportunity for these students to apply the skills they learned in the class Room to a real life experience. I really enjoyed this opportunity and believe my classmates and I were able to use this uh, real as a real uh, world education experience. In total, the state distributed six hundred and seventy thousand dollars to thirty one homeowners. Being able to start something from an older project, tear it all down, and then build it back up with newer stuff and upgrade it and design it how we'd like was kind of cool. This house right here will be up for auction until July 15th. Reporting in Barrie, Jessica Tara, Channel 3 News.